I need your help, and I'll explain that. Now, this is not going to be a thank you like you see at the Hollywood Oscars, where every person the person has ever known is named. No, I'll, I'll speak about a very large group of people who jumped on board sometime during the first year and turned it from a Lone Ranger project into a huge project with many people working behind the scenes. And I know some of them are here tonight for various uh, parts of it. Uh, the four genealogists who are like bulldogs going after information about the family members of the men who were killed and especially the women. When you look at this sheet, you will see two people. One represents the 436 men who died in World War II from Stephen County. And at this point, thanks largely to those wonderful helpers in the background, we only are missing pictures of nine of them. And they are working, trying to find a relative of those last nine. Those pictures right at this moment are on permanent display in Muskegon at the LST Museum. It's a 98% completion rate. Six years ago, there was not a single person, a single picture of a person who died in the war available to see in public. Now we have almost all of them, and they are the most forgotten people in Muskegon. Very few people even know the name of one of these people who gave all their tomorrows for us. The other group of veterans is represented by the lady on your sheet. We have well over 250 of them, and they are so difficult to find. They got married. <laughs> Their names changed, and they became pretty much out of sight and out of mind. But these wonderful genealogists have searched and searched and searched. Maybe you remember seeing a hundred names in the paper called the 100 Lost Ladies. We found most of them. Most of them are deceased. Uh, this lady is alive. And when I called her on the phone in Arizona, she said, I didn't know I was lost. <laughs> Beautiful pictures are now in the museum because of that. The people who have helped fall into different categories, and the biggest category and the most helpful of all, I call the recruiters. Those are the everyday people just like you and me who know there are people in their church, there are people in their neighborhood or in their families who were married to a World War II veteran who has now passed away. Let's face it, 95% are gone, but the pictures aren't gone, and generally the children aren't gone either, although they might be living somewhere else. If we can find those people, then we can put a copy of that picture in the museums. This is how you can help. You may be thinking right now of the people you know who have a connection with World War II through a, a husband, a father, a grandfather, a neighbor, a friend. When I started this, it was only for my own family. And then I made the fatal mistake of switching to the county, uh, which is a never-ending job. And I, I must admit, I've given up a lot. I have not kept track of the Cardassians. <laughs> I've missed so many of those Bachelor and Bachelorette shows and the wonderful reality shows. I've missed many of them and I'm, I'm feeling left out. But there are benefits. Benefits to the community, of course. Benefits to thousands of families to know that their loved one's picture is on permanent display in the museum. And one special benefit for me, when I was a high school student at North Muskegon, I never got one call from a girl. Never. Now I'm getting calls all the time. <laughs> I love it when somebody says, my husband was in the war and I have a picture of him. Those are the kind of calls I'm getting and I'm finally getting paid attention to by the girls. Please help me become a recruiter. Some of these people have checked their older uh, church directories, they've gone through the whole thing, and they've tried to find somebody who was related to that veteran who has now passed away. You see, I can't do it all because I don't know who these people are. The whole first year was people I knew. The last six years have been complete strangers, 
and I can't stop. The only time I'm going to stop is when the Lord calls me, and then it will be over. So please decide to start digging. Talk with your cousins whom you haven't talked with for years, and see if they have a picture of their dad. That's all I need is your help. Thank you.